round. We have a trade to announce involving Toronto FC and the Chicago Fire. Toronto FC have traded the fourth and fifth picks in the second round of the 2017 MLS Super Draft to the Chicago Fire in return for $75,000 of targeted allocation money. And with the fourth pick of the second round of the 2017 MLS Super Draft, the Chicago Fire select from the University of Louisville, goalkeeper Stefan Cleveland. All right, so let's just go back here for a second. Originally, Chicago had the third pick of the second round. They worked to trade with Minnesota, who then gave that up to Philly. Now they have the fourth pick after trading with Toronto and the fifth as well of the second round, starting with Stefan Cleveland, the goalkeeper here. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean he, he's played for, you know, one of the best uh, colleges in the country. Everybody's scouted him. Everybody knows his strengths and his weaknesses. And uh, given Chicago's goalkeeping core at the moment, he comes in as the third keeper, uh, which is fine if, you, if that's what you're looking for. Uh, giving up $75,000 worth of TAM, I think that's actually more interesting from uh, Toronto FC's perspective because we know they're going, uh, they're going after uh, I, I, I don't want to say a big time, but an influential playmaking midfielder. And they don't have any DP spots left. So they need to get as much TAM as they possibly can. The two second round picks probably was worth the, it to Was one. the 250 in the first round that Chicago got TAM or GAM? What was that was GAM. That was GAM. That was GAM, yeah. Uh, <laughs> make sure keep, we keep straight. But remember, yeah, keep that they've been straight. hoarding TAM and GAM oh, for <laughs> about 100 years now. Yeah. I mean, going back to the Jermaine Jones coin flip. So it, it's... Uh, it's no, it's definitely there. I mean, it, uh, obviously Toronto didn't lose much. So no. by them giving away these two picks, you know, and they weren't going to do much, uh, you know, with these picks anyway. And this is where um, having so. a, having an academy like and, and the second team, Toronto knows they're going to fill out their roster with guys they've been, you know, blooding for the last four or five years with, with the T TFC2 and TFC3. Yeah. Uh, you don't need those second round picks if you're, if you're TFC. Uh, you need the TAM, though, if they want to go out and get a number 10 who could, um, you know, lead to them lifting that MLS Cup. Sort of leads to a greater question as the academy teams blossom, as the USL affiliates of these MLS teams blossom, how long do you see the draft lasting four rounds? Yeah. We're, we're 25 mm. picks into the draft here, and, and it's not just now. It's probably already happened earlier where teams are doing that assessment saying, you know what, we're not going to get anything that is equal, comparable to what we already have within our system. And so we'll just go out and use the picks, whether it's multiple picks or one pick at a time, and, and get that return. It, 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 it's already four, uh, four rounds right now. I, I mean, I think it's too big just in terms of the number of players, and I think it's too big in terms of the rounds. So I, I think it's going to shrink to three rounds once you have the next, next set of expansion. So with, with the next set of expansion, I think you're going to see it go back to three rounds. All right.